this one sentence will help you start off any conversation. Now, a lot of people find it difficult, you know, networking, small talk, they don't like that because they don't know how to start. So that's the biggest stumbling block to actually talking to people is to say that first sentence. How do I approach people? And I do understand because this is a tricky situation. You don't want to say anything wrong. You don't want to seem a boring person or you don't want to be too pushy. A lot of people are very hesitant to approach other people and start conversations. And I have been on holidays. I've been to the States for three weeks and I have observed something. And the Americans, quite contrary to us Europeans, the Americans are very, very good at starting conversations. And in these three weeks, I have observed that each and every one of them, and we had a lot of people approaching and a lot of people started talking to us and they all started off with that same sentence. And that's the sentence I'm going to share with you just now. My name is Petra Wüst and I have been coaching experts like you to build their strong brand and their reputation and have more visibility. And if you think that this is an area where you could need some improvement as well, then subscribe to my channel. Now, networking in today's business world and for your career success is super important. And before we start off and before I share with you this one secret or magical sentence, I'd like to ask a question. Do you find it difficult to approach people and start a conversation? Or do you say, well, no, for me, that's easy. I love people. I have no issues, whatever. I just go there. I start a conversation. Please share it in the chat. And if you're one of the lucky ones who has no problem or who has had problems and have overcome them and I feel now fairly at ease approaching people, then please share your success tips in the comments. We'd really like to know. One thing I can tell you right now is that me, even I, who am a social person, I'm not an introvert, I'm quite of a people's person, still that very first moment when I approach somebody that I haven't spoken to, that doesn't know me, I find that moment difficult. So don't worry if you find it difficult too, there is help. Also an important question or an interesting question is why is it so difficult for us to approach people? The biggest fear or the biggest stumbling block is that fear of rejection. You know, I go to that person, I want to start a conversation and that person just turns the back on me, doesn't want to talk to me, is unpolite, gives me the feeling that they don't want to have to do anything with me or that I'm not an interesting person. So that fear of being rejected is super strongly embedded in humans and that's got a reason because the way that our brain works is dinosaur. It's like in very ancient old times, long time ago. And long time ago, it was very important to be part of the group. Being liked and being included in the group helped you to survive. If you were not included in the group, if you were not part of the group, that would probably cost your life because that would be so dangerous to be on your own. And therefore, our brain still ticks like that. So our brain still thinks you have to be accepted. You have to be part of the group. People have to like you. If they don't want you, then you're going to die. And of course, we live in a different world now. And if that person doesn't want to talk to you, in fact, that's not a problem at all. That's not very important in the end. But for our brain, that is a very dangerous or potentially dangerous situation and very important situation. And therefore, you know, we still have these very basic fears within us and we have to fight them and we have to go there. Although we have these fears and everybody has them. And as I said, even I have them and we still have to do it because it is so important. So that's the one big stumbling block. And the other big stumbling block is that people don't know how to start that conversation. And we're so afraid of making ourselves look stupid. It's embarrassing and we don't want to embarrass ourselves. And this is a potential situation where we could embarrass ourselves. But don't worry, here comes the solution. As mentioned, I've been to the States three weeks on holidays. I had a great time and I observed how 
the Americans started that conversation. And I can tell you, we had so many people started a conversation with us and started to talk with us, you know, in the coffee shop, in the bus, waiting in a queue, in the hotel, in the museum, in the aquarium. There were several people, three, four, five people every day. Now, what's that sentence? The sentence is, I really like, I really like your glasses, I really like your hat, I really like your shirt, I really like your accent. Where are you from? And that's how every single one of them started that conversation. And that is so smart. They pay me a compliment. They pay me a compliment. They come up to me and they tell me that I'm doing something well, that they like me, they appreciate me. And that immediately makes me feel good about myself and makes me feel good about them. And that is so smart. Why is starting off with a compliment so smart? First of all, they're not talking about themselves. They're not coming up to me saying, oh, I'm such and such doing this and that. No, they talk about me. They make me the center of attention. And second, they create a positive atmosphere because they say something nice to me about me. How could I not enter into that conversation? How could I say, oh, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. I could never do that because they create this atmosphere, they put me in the center and they say something nice about me and I want to talk to people who say something nice about me. That is human nature and this is why this works so well. So if you start off that conversation by going to the person, saying something nice about them, that is the best door opener you can have. Talking about glasses and hats and shirts, of course, that is more um, spare time, that is more leisure. So if you want to do it in business, how can you do that? So let's have a look at a few business examples. One situation is when you are in a conference um, or at a networking opera and there is the speaker. You know, there has been a speech, there's been a speaker and you want to talk to that speaker. And of course, a lot of people want to talk to that speaker and you're a bit afraid because that speaker have time. Does that speaker want to talk to me? Am I intruding? You don't know. Therefore, what can you do? The best thing you do is you go there, you say, oh, hi, I really like your speech. And now, don't just leave it at, I really liked your speech, because that is a bit generic. Everybody can say that. That doesn't set you apart or it's not anything that special. But what you could do is, hey, I really liked your speech. And particularly what you said about the importance of corporate culture in the transformation process, I found very inspiring. Thinking something is inspiring that somebody else says is always a great compliment. Oh, I'm an inspiring person. People love that. So don't just leave it at, I really liked your speech, but go into detail and pick one specific thing that you liked in that speech and elaborate a bit more on that. So you make it more specific and the person can really sense that, yes, you were listening to them. You're not just coming up to them saying, I really liked your speech, although you didn't really listen, but hey, you listen carefully and therefore you enter into one of these specifics that they mentioned. That is a very good option that you have. Or let's take LinkedIn, social media. You want to approach a new contact or a person which is not a contact yet. You want to make a contact. What can you do? So you send them a connection request and you can write, oh, I really liked your post on this and that topic. And particularly this one thing that you highlight in this post, I found very important. Or you can say, I read your comment and that resonated with me. And I think that is a very important thing that you stressed. Or you can look at their profile, figure out what you like about their profile. I mean, you want to connect with them. So if you want to connect with them, obviously they have something interesting, something that you appreciate in their profile. So, you know, highlight that. Send them a message saying, I've looked at your profile and I really like this and that. Do you want to connect? So you see there's plenty of opportunities, plenty of situations to approach people being positive, paying them a compliment on a business level and build that rapport with them and make them enter into that conversation. And I'm sure if you handle it like that, you're going to have masses of positive feedback and positive reactions. And I wish you all the best doing that.